Hello, my name is Sean Ennis and welcome to Mix and Master, the show that gives you an inside look into the minds responsible for creating the music for your favorite songs. Yes, the producers. Today I'm joined by a special guest. Can you share your name, where you're from, and how you got your start in music? What's up, Sean? This is Uncle Silk. Um, I'm out of Rock Island, Illinois. It's uh, just west of Chicago. Uh, I know you southern folk probably uh, equate everything in, in Illinois with Chicago. But I got my start um, um, early hip-hop days of the uh, classics, LL Cool J, and, uh, and uh, all that. So that's where I come from. Now, uh, were, you, were you born and raised in Chicago? Absolutely. So you can you kind of describe the the wave and and what it was like um, the the rise of Chief Keef? Um, a lot younger younger that cast a lot younger than me. I'm more of the uh, twister, you know what I'm saying, tree. But um, I mean Chief Keef and and uh, the other youngins up there. I mean they're 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 really doing their thing and, and all the drill and. And uh, the, the the thing that's the sound that's popping right now, uh, they got it locked as, as far as uh, the shy town, the shy rack scene. And did that did that movement, um, and sort of really kind of like hip hop for for a few years was really really heavily tuned in to Chicago and the drill scene. Did that have a wide ranging effect on the Chicago music scene? Especially uh, for for that that lane or that age group, you know what I'm saying. Um, so you still had the uh, the more traditional hip hop lane, but I mean the kids just took over, basically for real. Now talk to me about how you got your start in producing. Well, I actually started it started um, from DJing first, and. Um, with the beat mixing, you know, to extend certain parts um, of songs and the break beats. And then that just naturally transitioned into making your own drum sounds and then playing chords behind those and getting your homeboy to uh, lay down a little bass riff on top of that and doubling up snares and, and drums and stuff like that. So it was a natural transition from um, DJing to production. And a lot of a lot of producers have that DJ background. Why why is that such a smooth transition to go from DJing to actually creating music? Because as a DJ, um, you control the crowd, right? You um, you have a have, you have to have a good sense of of uh, what the what the crowd is vibing to, right? So that enables you as a DJ to kind of lock in. To, uh, to sounds and different things that the, the crowd will respond to. Even it could be a down-tempo joint, right? It could be a down-tempo uh, J. Cole-type joint. But if you if you hit melodies and chords just right, bam, you're in pocket, and you'll get that response. Now, you mentioned um, having a musician play uh, a bass rift. So, yes, sir. You're a producer who's not just making everything from on, on the computer. You have you have musicians in the studio with you that that you record. Absolutely, absolutely. That's I mean, um, I'm a producer that that just refuses to get locked into any one lane or sound um, or style. Right, so. And, and, and of course, that comes from DJing, right? Because you have to play all, you know, sometimes you have to play all types of, of music at a party to rock a party. So, again, there's that transition from DJ to, to, to a producer that kind of gets in there. And, and my, my favorite producers are like that. I mean, DJ Quick, uh, one of the most underappreciated producers there is. I mean, that dude, he's just serious. And, thing, and everything's like live, live musicians. I mean, everybody samples a little bit. And... Shout out to sample based um, creators because I'm one of them too. But having dudes behind you and playing playing with it, that's dope. I mean, it just 
expands hip hop and it, it keeps it growing, in my opinion. Now, you mentioned DJ Quick. Can you tell me what it is about him that you really respect so much? Grooves, sounds, uh, creativity. Um, uh, there's absolutely zero narrow, narrow mindedness with that cat. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if it was a DJ Vlad interview or whatever, but he told the story. And um, I really respect him for this because this is creative. He told the story where he was working on a track and um, he couldn't quite find the right snare sound. So he went to the bathroom and he clapped his hands and he recorded it. And then he layered it on top of the snare and he put it in the song. I don't know if it was Dollars and Cents or, or one of the songs he did with Death Row, but he told that story and I was like, oh man, that's out cold. You know what I'm saying? And then I, you know, I obviously I had to try it after and it's dope. It's just a creative way to get over, you know what I'm saying, like um, the producer's version of writer's block. And who are some other producers that have influenced you? Of course, Dr. Dre, um, Premier, uh, Manny Fresh, uh, um, those cats, those Trey Six Mafia cats, definitely, you know, cats like that. Um, Havoc, Mob Deep, um, younger cats, Mike Will, Mike Will made it, Mike Will made it is dope. That dude is dope. Whoever's doing J. J. Cole's beats is dope. I don't know if he's doing that or whoever that is. Especially that 21 Savage joint a lot. Oh, man, come on. Killed it. Killed it. And what is it about the producers you named that stands out? Originality. I mean, uniqueness. When something comes on, you can tell it's a Drake joint. I mean, even though he's evolved over the years, you could still figure out, you know, that's a Dre track. Now, talk to me about beats that use live instrumentation compared to ones that are done, let's say, exclusively from the laptop. What what what's the difference? Instruments, they just give it. I guess it just it's just a little bit more warm, and and it's just I don't know. It's just like a vibe, you know. Uh, again, shout out to sample based producers. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to diss or whatever because I'm in that lane too. Most times, um, you know, take the soul sample and pitch it down or whatever. Um, but man, it's just something about um, a live bass and you know strings and pianos that are actually played and and and, and i'll do this sometimes also i'll, uh, I'll you know uh, uh, myself or another cat will actually be playing a little piano part just just grab a piece of it and loop it and then you know layer your loops i mean it's everybody does it it's no it's nothing it's nothing groundbreaking but basically the difference to me is like warmth and depth in in their cre creativity Take me through your music making process. Everything starts with the drum for me. Everything starts with the drum. The drums gotta be I mean, the drums just gotta be smacking, right? It's got to it's got to be head nine and it's got to be the sounds, the bass on the bottom half, the snare, it's got to have that sound. It's gotta have that knock. That's where I start. Then the chords and um, the eight oh eight or the bottom. You kind of fill in, and um, it's kind of tough to finish completely finish a beat without you know knowing what direction the vocals are going to go. Um, I've got a partner in LA uh, that I work with, uh, Tony Lowry. Um, he's 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 really good at you know um, taking a skeleton of a beat or an idea that I have, coming up with an idea and helping me fill in the blanks. And then it's just like, you know what I'm saying, peanut butter and jelly, we put it together, we got we got classic joints. Um, we got about, I don't know, 10 or 11 joints. We're, we're in, the, in the middle of a project that we're working on. But um, he's one of my favorite cats to work with, Tony Lowry. He's out of, he's out of L.A. He's on Reverb Nation. Check him out. Serious cat, serious MC, 
he's got uh, several releases out Mayweather the LP and um, he's, he's down with his crew out there in uh, the LA area the Solox and uh, the superheroes he's been in several uh, crews in the Long Beach LA area you know what I'm saying starting with the drums and then kind of building things in now what is it about working with Tony that makes this um, so easy to collaborate with we we have history we grew up we grew up in the same area um, and we've known each other a very long time worked together for a very long time so it's like it's like I don't know it's just that everything clicks every time it's just chemistry you know what I'm saying um, it's like a thought will be started on one side and the other side will finish it just great chemistry you know what I'm saying he's he moved to LA about 20 years ago trying to get on and you know what I'm saying um, we stayed in contact and we kept working we working we got a song called we working you know what I'm saying and that's what it is can you talk to me about that song um, definitely a uh, energy joint hoping that um, it catches on with ESPN and the NBA um, while we were working on that joint um, I don't know if you remember um, when Derrick Rose he had his breakout game for for last for this past season in Minnesota he had 50 and um, the TV reporter was interviewing him and and he was just basically like man I'm, I'd, I'd be working my ass off bro and I just used that at the beginning the, how, that's how the song kicks off with him saying that boom the beat drops in and Tony just breaks it down about you know what I'm saying how you got to get out here and grind how you got to work so you know what I'm saying need to check that joint out that's real definitely. that's really creative yes sir thank you now do you have another song that you can talk to me about that you're really proud of so we just we just wrapped up a song called um, ride music um, like I said he lives in LA and um, he, uh, he just completed this song a few days ago we're going through the mixing mastering process but um, uh, basically it's a it's a the typical um, LA smoking and riding joint um, bass heavy um, groove and I mean he's and he's got some bars on top of it you know what I'm saying he shouts out Nip uh, Nipsey Hustle and, and he does some he goes through some other uh, LA things talking about Slauson da 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 and you know what I'm saying uh, real cool joint uh, that and another joint another joint um, we got is uh, called Funky Worming um, where we take you through the first Friday and him and another MC uh, buddy of mine Cribs um, they just they just hit you with all kind of Friday references and and Big Worm and this is just a couple of another couple of dope joints that you have to check out you know what I'm saying there's cats out here that's like you know what I'm saying right on the crust on the cusp of breaking through that's man very very talented man that grind that just you know what I'm saying they need that exposure and they're in big cities like LA and Detroit I mean I, I had opportunity to work with a cat named Oddball from Detroit he's on his grind too so that's what it is what makes you want to work with a particular artist um if they can they can they gotta be able to spit a little bit man you know what i'm saying it just can't be um it's 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 got to touch me in some kind of way lyrically i mean you just can't just be saying anything and you gotta have some kind of little you know style or whatever whatever because you know i mean you can have the dopest beat in the world if you got garbage lyrics you just got garbage lyrics now how can producers promote their work? So, for me, that's the most challenging part. Being in a, um, uh, being now living close to Chicago, but not being in Chicago. Uh, of course, social media makes it a hell of a lot easier than uh, than it was back in the days um, with Twitter, Facebook. Um, but. Uh, I've chosen to go the uh, the website route. I've got a nice little website, you know, saying that I can throw around if somebody wants to check out um, beats I've made and you know learn about uh, Uncle Silk and Ill Technique music. You know, what I'm saying you just go to the site 
work a Facebook joint, Reverb Nation, that's another good tool, um, SoundCloud, of course, um, and just, you gotta grind, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm still way under the radar, so I guess I haven't grind, you know, I haven't been grinding hard enough, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what it is. Now, talk to me about Ill Technique music. Definitely, that's, so, that's like, um, my publishing company, that's, that's the brand, um, Ill, Illinois, Ill Technique, um, kind of referencing the DJ, uh, uh, origin techniques, you know what I'm saying, Ill Technique music, it's kind of every, I mean, you know what I'm saying, you hear, you hear the music, man, that cast Ill with it right there, you know, New York style, <laughs> Um, but that's what it is. It's just basically uh, my company. Um, right now, it's just it's just me. Kind of looking for other cats to around here to kind of to jump in and play in. But right now, I'm solo dolo, you know. And what's the best way for uh, artists that would like to work with you to get in contact with you? Hey man, hit me up on the website or on one of the social media joints: Twitter, um, Facebook, or. Or um, like I said, the website. You know, I'd like to. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to take it to like um, finding guest producers. I'll start a track and I'll post it, and then they just take it and add to it, and just kind of, especially younger producers, right? Because you know they have a different ear and they got a different lane, right? So I think that would be a creative way to kind of, you know, say branch off and and really come up with something dope. We got to keep this hip-hop thing fresh, man. And that, you know, a lot of people, a lot of old heads, they, you know, they knock, they knock the younger, the younger generation and say they mumble rap or whatever, whatever. But, you know, they're taking it and they're, they're adding their creativity to it. You know what I'm saying? If, if they didn't take it to where other folk wanted them to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you did something wrong, they didn't pick it up and just, you know, take it from you or whatever. I don't know, that's just my opinion on it. So, you know, Migos and, and, and other cats who sometimes get criticized for whatever, whatever, man, the cats are dope. Let them do what they do. Is there a common mistake that you hear producers making? I wouldn't say mistake, but I would say, like, um, Cats latch on to a sound that's successful, um, and you know, in order to to, to get out here, maybe they they'll copy that sound and they, to to where it's the same jump track or the same jump sounds over and over and over again. And again, uh, I'm that cat. You know, I start drum first, and I I can't do the same sounds every time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I understand uh, taking note of what's hot, but I don't think you should ever compromise your creativity uh, to be hot or to be, you know, um, to, to, to be what's hot like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it takes me back to the old school Hollywood Shuffle movie, how they was making fun of movie directors that wanted somebody, Eddie Murphy, like, you know what I'm saying, Murphonic and you know what I'm saying, all of that. Don't lose your creativity trying to sound like um, that number two or that number one hit record or whatever. Can you share your website and social media links? Absolutely. Um, illtechnique.com um, uh, illtechnique twitter.com and uh, SoundCloud is, uh, I believe, Uncle Silk at Ill Technique. And uh, my Facebook joint is Uncle Silk. So you can hit me up in one of them, and you know what I'm saying? We can get it in. Is there anything else you'd like to promote or share? Um, so I'm like, uh, I'm not just locked into hip hop, I've expanded off into. Um, like pop and R and B, I'm working with a with a young uh, cat on the rise uh, from Iowa, Alex Rush. Um, really talented cat, guitar player, guitar player, singer, and uh, 
another uh, young lady from Detroit, uh, like a soul rock singer. Her name is Crystal Ray. Uh, so I'm excited about working with those two. And, and like I said, my man Tony Lowry, he brings it. He's an MC. He don't he don't just be out here rapping. He's an MC. You know what I'm saying? What's an MC? You know what I'm saying? Throwing a track don't matter. He's going he's going to tear it down. You know what I'm saying? Rappers, some rappers, they need a particular type of beat or a particular type of lane. Tony Lowry, man, just put a beat on him. He's going to rock. MC to the fullest. That's what's up. All right. I'd like to give a very big thank you to my guests for joining me here today on Mix and Master. As always, write your comment below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video.